Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're going to convert four days to seconds. This question comes from a student. Uh, so to change this, there is no seconds to day uh, conversion, but we can see up here that there is a seconds to minutes conversion. Then there's also a minutes to hours conversion. And then finally there is a hours to day conversion. So I've got to whittle this down until I get seconds, right? I'm starting with something which is kind of large in comparison for time, which is four days. Now my first conversion, again, is to change this into hours. So uh, using dimensional analysis, up here we got, um, we're going to change this to hours. And I need the days to cancel, so I got it in the denominator, so that will cancel. And I know it's 24 hours in one day. Now, just going back to this unit that we did, um, you could change, you could find your own conversion factor from seconds to days, and that'd be fine. That would only require one conversion, but I'm just using the ones that they have in, uh, in the unit. So 4 times 24 means that uh, 24 hours would be I'm sorry, four days would be 96 hours. Well, now I need to change 96 hours into uh, minutes. Okay, so I'm using that second conversion. I want the hours to cancel, so I got hours in the denominator. I am changing this to minutes, and the conversion factor shows 60 minutes to one hour. So once again, we have the hours, which will cancel. And then I've got 96 times 60, which is 5,760 minutes. Now that I have this in minutes, 5,760, I need to change this into seconds. Um, but I know the minutes need to cancel, so that'd be the denominator. I'm changing it to seconds. It's 60 seconds for every one minute. So multiplying this out would cancel the minutes out. And would leave me with the seconds, which is what I want out of this. So in my calculator, I got 5,760 times 60, which gave me 345,600 seconds. And that is how many seconds there are in four days. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys, this problem, um, as you move forward in your math. We'll see you in the next video.